Hey guys, that blue and white vehicle there belongs to the Japan Automobile Federation, JAF, and they do car breakdown services. So you'll notice that the driver has put shocks under the wheel, as is the standard procedure in such a situation, and he's put the magic cones at the front of the car. If you haven't seen our magic cones video, you might want to check that out to find out why. So his car is secure and safe and highly visible with the magic cones and the chocks. He got out of the car and he put on his reflective vest and his gloves and he took off his orange hat and he put on his helmet and then he retrieved his charging unit from the vehicle and connected it to this lady's battery because obviously she has a fat, flat battery which is why he's checking the oil. <laughs> So it's, in some countries, if you, your car had a flat battery and you called the automobile club, they would come and jump out of the car and throw leads on it like that and start your car and then you'd be off, wouldn't you, in probably five or ten minutes. And in some countries, that sort of speediness is sort of appreciated. But in Japan, that would be seen as being a little bit uncaring or not thorough enough so in Japan a five minute job like that is drawn out so this took 30 minutes so what we've done is we've cut lots of it out and we've sped it up sped the videos up so that we've reduced the 30 minutes down to three minutes so they started the car and then he gave a really long set to me. He stood there and explained everything. So some of you who have been watching our videos have recognised all this. You recognise the magic cones, the chocks under the wheels, the helmet. We've talked about all these things before. The set to me, the big explanation. And it's just being thorough. She would be impressed with the amazing service that he gave her and how thorough he was. So after 30 minutes, she's away. <laughs> So it's interesting, isn't it? Because in some countries we get frustrated. Come on, I've got to go, I've got to go. Whereas in Japan, it's like he's being thorough and Japanese people are very patient. So she just sat there and was very patient. So then he puts his chocks back in the car and then he gets back in the car and starts doing some paperwork and then he put his seatbelt on. And we thought, okay, this video is about to get interesting. He's going to drive away and run over his cones. So he finished his paperwork and then he put on his seatbelt and he started his car and he's going to run over those cones. That's, gonna, that's how this video is going to end with him running over his own cones. So we thought that's what was going to happen and then some nosy passerby has decided to tell him that he's left his cones out in the front of his car and he's about to drive over them. So this guy's ruined the end of our video. And this guy's, so the man in the car's taking his seatbelt off and jump back out. And thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much, he's Because <laughs> if he'd run over those cones, he probably would have had to spend a week doing paperwork to explain how he was so negligent as to run over his own cones with his car. <laughs> so, anyway, spoiled the end of our video. Um, but probably saved that guy about a week of paperwork. He apologized, he thanked, he thanked about five or six times there. <laughs> anyway, there it was. All our videos of the past rolled into one video. <laughs> More videos coming soon.